wandering the aisles here at the Texas Numismatic Association Convention in Arlington. We're going to talk to our dealer to friends to find out what sort of cool coins they've brought. We'll tell stories of numismatics to help you, our viewers, find out more about coin collecting. It is the United States 1993 NGC MS-70 Silver Eagle. Um, there were 6.7 million minted, and um, NGC only graded 148 MS-70s. PCGS does not have any in that grade. Heritage auctioned one off for 7,900 in January of 2013. So it's interesting that a $26 bullion coin can be worth so much. What's so cool about Silver Eagles? Why do people like them? Um, it's a really classic bullion coin. Um, they like the design, and it's very similar. Everybody likes Liberty and what she stands for, and everybody likes the eagle design on the back. And again, what kind of value for the MS-70? For the MS-70, it would be around $7,900. David, I happen to bring something exceptionally cool this time. It's not expensive, which makes it even more exciting. Um, in 1902, Wells Fargo issued a silver medal that they gave to their employees and it came with an original velvet lined box. And uh, I happen to have one of those. PCGS has only graded seven uncirculated examples to date. And I happen to have an MS-64 with a box that is very nice. Most of the boxes are no longer pristine. They're well worn. Most of them have their hinges torn. But this particular piece is exceptional with the box. What's cool about Wells Fargo? Wells Fargo, oh my goodness, you think of the Old West, you think of, you think of um, uh, stagecoaches, and you think of robberies, and, and bad guys coming up with their guns and, and taking all the gold. Uh, so Wells Fargo brings back a, a lot of memories for people who like the Old West, and for people who like to collect Wells Fargo related material. What kind of value for this piece? This particular piece is graded MS-64 by PCGS and is worth between $2,500 and $3,000. Well, we normally carry something around. This is something kind of neat that I brought here to the show. It's basically is a chief note. Of course, a lot of people are familiar with the chief, so the only thing this is a little bit of an unusual chief because he is from the first, very first uh, sheet that actually was uh, printed and cut. This is serial number two. And it's a low serial number from the very first sheet printed on the disc, uh, the Freebird 275 of this particular item. Uh, there's definitely premiums on low serial numbers, but when you get to the single digits, definitely there's a major increase. And if it's from the first sheet, of course, number one would be substantially more. But this is number two, and that's not shabby. It's pretty cool. What kind of value on this one? Uh, this particular note is 27500 That's what we have valued at as far as what we sell it for. Um, and it's a, a note that commands really good money because, again, the low serial numbers and also something to take into consideration, the condition being superb GM in 66, and that also adds uh, caviar to this. Uh, just for as far as the Freebird number alone, just for the Freebird number, there's 15 pieces in 66 and only one in 67. So this is already, uh, by itself, taking away the, the serial number factor, is still a very high, a powerful uh, quality note. Then you add the, the kicker with the serial number, and you're all set for a great, a great note to put in anybody's collection. Whether it's beginner or advanced, it definitely uh, it's a, would be a cornerstone for any currency collection.